to save us from sin. He did not just come to stop us from going to hell. It doesn't stop there. When Jesus was on the cross and he said, it is finished, guess what? It has just begun for us, the broken, the people that are dysfunctional, the ones that have the can't help it, the ones that nobody else gets. But God, all right, listen to this. He is, he is said to bind up the broken heart. How many has been hurt, has been broken from things other people did to us or didn't do that they should have done? How many of us are damaged and we feel like the damage is permanent? I am here to tell you it is not. According to these scriptures, it is not permanent. Listen, he has proclaimed liberty to the captives. You know how many people feel caught up? They're, they're caught up. They feel like they're trapped. There's no way out. Yes, there is. God always has a way of escape. Always. Listen, now whether you take that escape route is up to you. But he has a way of escape. When it says the opening of the prison to them that are bound, you know how many people out there are bound? There's a thing called the strong man. That's a demonic stronghold. And people are bound to habits and bound to people and bound to drugs. They are bound to their hatred. They're bound to their bitterness. They're bound. And they, they're so hurt and they're so disillusioned by life that they have taken some of the worst choices in their lives and gotten caught up in it. And then now they can't find their way out. And it looks like the thing that they grab the hold to is pulling them down, down, down into what I call a pit of disillusionment, a pit of despair, a pit of hopelessness, a pit of depression, a pit of failure. And it seems like it never, never, ever ends. It seems like it's an abyss. Ad infinitum, it's just endless, infinite. Now, what God did, though, when he sent Jesus to die on the cross, he took our damage with him. He took our hurts with him. All those stripes, you know the scripture that says, by his stripes, we are healed? Well, guess what? That doesn't just mean, oh, God took away my headache. Oh, I'm healed from cancer. Oh, God. No, it doesn't stop there at the body. Jesus works internally as well. And every bit of damage, every bit of brokenness, every bit of hurt, every bit of harm that's been done to you. I am telling you the God's honest truth. It is all it is all possible to, to experience your healing. When you are being healed, when God gets in there, he doesn't come and just do it. He waits for you to invite him in. Okay, let me share this real quick. You know how somebody knocks on your door? Imagine Jesus knocking on your door. Now, your living room is great. Your hallway is great. Even your bathroom's okay. But you ain't letting them in your bedroom. And don't dare go in that closet. That's the way we do company, right? Why? Because we get embarrassed. But guess what? Guess what Jesus came to do? This, this gets me every time I think about it. Jesus came to go to the dirty part of your house. He came to go into that closet where all the skeletons are rattling. All your shame is. That's what he came to. He didn't come to sit in your pretty living room. He said, I didn't come for those who are healthy. I came for those who are sick. Now listen, you guys. You have Jesus coming in your front door, right? You don't let him in that basement. 
You got cobwebs. You got rats. Who knows what's down in there? That's what Jesus wants to come and go down to. He wants to get into the cesspool of your soul. You don't have to live with your cesspool anymore. You don't have to stay stopped up, plugged up, tied up, and, and, and messed up from the floor. <laughs> as they say, tore up from the floor. You don't have to stay that way. I can tell you from experience, I was told up from the floor, up, inside, out, everywhere. I was messed up. But I'm telling you from experience and from the word, Jesus, those stripes he wore on his back, that those people inflicted on him, every one of those stripes said, I'll take your hurt. I'll take your burdens. I'll take your shame. I'll take your wounds. I'll take your bruises. I'll take your broken heart. I'll take your embarrassment. I'll take your fears. I'll take your hurts. I'll take your anger. I'll take your rage. I mean, no matter what it is, it's there for the taking. Because he wants to go in where your filth is, where your dysfunction is, and unplug the blocks. 